in merry and brightest day, in O holy night, no naughty children shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Rudolph's light. Welcome to Five Points of Articulation and Happy Holidays. The five points I articulate are packaging, presentation, poseability, playability, and price. I'm Jason, and this is a very special Christmas-themed review. Today, we're unwrapping the Figura Obscura Father Christmas from Four Horsemen Studio. Starting off with the packaging, and this thing is gorgeous. We have an incredible painting of Father Christmas, and the name is so nicely done, it could be the logo for a movie. This image wraps around the side, and then there's a Christmas tree on the other side. Four Horsemen window up top, and the lore on the back. He is known by many names. Kris Kringle, Saint Nicholas, Grandfather Frost. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure you know who Santa is. The real the really cool thing about the box is not only does it open, it's also magnetic and could be used as a backdrop. This gives us a great look at the figure, and on the back, a beautiful Christmas Eve skyline with Santa and his sleigh. For a character whose whole thing is surprising you with wonderful packages, this is a wonderful package. And in the spirit of Christmas for packaging, I'm giving Father Christmas two whole points. Moving on to presentation, and Santa stands at six and a quarter inches. Of course, this isn't Claus as we think of him today, but more of a classic Father Christmas. The first thing you'll notice is the really nice coat. Thanks. It has pockets. I don't know a lot about different kinds of fabrics, so I don't know what this is exactly, but it's nice and red and fuzzy. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, actually. Naturally, the edges are all furry, and there's a beautiful black and gold trim running throughout. One really nice feature of the coat is that it's actually wired, so if you want to pose Santa on a particularly blustery night, that won't be a problem. As I joked about before, there are pockets, and they are functional. What's in my pocket. Who can't ask that? There's an additional layer of purple underneath. Personally, I think I would have preferred maybe a dark green or a brown, but the purple gives him a more regal look. And speaking of being regal, I absolutely love this head sculpt. The brow and the wrinkles make him look very wise, and the bright blue really shines. He really looks like he's peering into your soul. His mustache game is on point, and the beard is very long and very detailed. You could pretty much count every individual strand. Also a lot of paintwork in there to add depth. That continues for his hair. The robes are held together with this belt. The leather texturing on there is very lifelike, and the gold buckle is very nicely painted, but I will say it's the only actual complaint I have about this figure, mainly that it's constantly coming undone. Cool that they painted this buckle too, though. As long as his clothes are falling off anyway, we might as well see what he's rocking under that robe. What? I'm no Mythic Legions expert, but I'm a thousand percent sure that this is reused from one of their previous figures. With Santa, you'll never see it, but there is lots of wonderful detail there. The only paint is on the boots and calf guards, but that really works for the Father Christmas. And taking all the kit and caboodle off gives us a good idea of what kind of articulation we're going to be looking at. Honestly, I kind of dig the idea that underneath all the fuzzy robes, he is ready for battle. If you told me to close my eyes and imagine Father Christmas, this is what I'm picturing. Between the sculpting and the painting and the cloth goods, it's really a work of art. For presentation, I'm giving Father Christmas one whole point. Moving on to posability, and while I could leave the robes off for this category, I think it would actually make more sense to put them back on. From the top, and Father Christmas's head is on a ball joint without any kind of hinge or dumbbell. He can look up a bit, but not terribly high. Obviously, the beard keeps him from looking down, though. I'm pleasantly surprised to report he does have a bit of tilt. And then, of course, side to side. Moving down, he can raise his arm 45 degrees. 45 degrees? I'd kill for it to be that warm right now. Moving down, he has single-jointed swivel hinge elbows. I will say, because of the coat, you really can't tell how deeply they bend. Rolling up the sleeve, though, and we can see it's about 45 degrees also. Maybe I should have kept the costume off. As for the wrists, they can swivel and hinge. Moving to the middle, and recall that Father Christmas has a diaphragm joint. Also recall that the belt keeps coming undone. Again, because of the costume, not really getting a whole lot of forward and back. You do, of course, get a little bit of tilt, though. And twist. I swear I'm gonna glue this thing down when I'm done. Fortunately, the robes are nice and open, so you do have the benefit of leg articulation. He can kick this high and do a near-perfect split. He's also got thigh cut, single-jointed swivel knee, and ankles that can swivel, hinge, and pivot. Often in these Christmas videos, I describe them as action figures that double as decorations. This one is more of a decoration that doubles as an action figure. As such, the limited articulation doesn't bother me, but it is still limited. For posability, 
I'm giving Father Christmas half a point. Moving on to playability, and this sleigh is stuffed with accessories. And just like any kid on Christmas, I want to start with the toys. The ones that come in this sack are non-removable. First, let me just say how wonderful this bag is. The sculpting and painting looks like real leather, and they punched in the gold for the fasteners. I'm guessing that's a bit of paint scuff on the ball, and it's not supposed to be like that. Also, it took me a second to realize that this is actually a yo-yo. We've also got a stuffed lion, a horn and a candy cane, a book with some gold and actual paper painted, a nutcracker, a teddy bear, and some drumsticks. Those drumsticks are going to really come in handy, because Father Christmas also has a drum. It's plastic, so you can't actually play it, but it's sculpted and painted really nicely. It even has a little chain and a hook, so you can hang it from his belt. On the subject of instruments, he also comes with this trumpet. It's very thin, and I have got to warn you to please be careful when taking it out of the package. As you can see, I accidentally already kind of broke mine. The detail on this, however, is very nice. It's so lifelike, it looks like you could play it. And hey, remember Santa's pocket? Ever the toy enthusiast, he comes with his very own pocket figure. It slides in like so. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf. So help me if you continue that joke, you're going straight on the naughty list. More than just toys, though, Santa also comes with this staff. Riddle me this. Joking aside, this is very lovely. Nice gold fastener in there. And the wood grain texture is very lifelike. Not only that, but even the accessory gets an accessory. This lamp. We really need to take a moment to bask in how awesome this is. Not only is it expertly sculpted and painted to look like actual metal. Seriously, just look at how ornate that is. But it even includes clear plastic to look like glass panes. Loop it around and it hangs from his staff, which he can hold in either hand. If the satchel wasn't enough, he even comes with this additional sack. Oh! Oh, so when Father Christmas uses one, it's a satchel, but when I do it, it's a purse? Unlike the satchel, this is actually cloth and filled with things. I really want to open it to find out what's inside, but then I'm also kind of afraid of not being able to close it right again. Oh, what the heck, it's Christmas. There's actually a bunch of stuff in here. We've got a wolf and a ducky and a couple of helmets. Have at me! If you're wondering, the beard is in my beak. But if all that wasn't enough, Father Christmas comes with an extra head. In addition to the longer beard, there's also a shorter beard option. Aside from the beard length, the other details are exactly the same. The short beard's fine, but I think for this I prefer the long. Whichever head you prefer, it even comes with a wreath of holly. For real, they included one for each head. Instead of the more modern Santa hat, Father Christmas has this hood. The trim matches the rest of the suit, and there's a metal fastener to keep it held together. The best way to put it on is to fasten it first and then just slide it over the peg. Between that and the wreath, it creates a really nice effect. One of the things that I particularly like is that it's wired. That way I'm able to push the whole thing down to make it more natural. The collar piece is wired as well. Lastly, the most important accessory for Father Christmas, this stick. Here, boy! <laughs> I'll admit, it took me a minute to figure out what this was supposed to be. It's a bit too small to be a Yule log. It's actually the trunk for this Christmas tree. Because with everything else they included, of course they also gave Santa a tree. And the whole thing plugs into a snowy base. I'm guessing it's supposed to go deeper than that, but mine started to fight me and bend out of shape, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out later. Topping the whole thing off is an actual Christmas card. Er, holiday card. It's blank inside, but just the fact that they thought to include that is full of heart. Of course, playability is more than just toys who come with their own toys. It's also about how well your figure plays with others. First things first, and we've got to start with the naughty or nice classic Santa from Fresh Monkey Fiction. For those wondering about head swaps, the neck balls are absolutely not a match. But if you don't mind the fact that it can't click into place, the naughty or nice head does look pretty good. For a very different kind of Santa, though, and here we have Batman Santa by McFarlane Toys. But for a few other festive figures, Years, and here's Holiday Harley by DC Collectibles, Spider-Man from the Holiday 2-Pack by Toy Biz, and The Mandalorian all in time for Life Day. Speaking of Hasbro, and just to show off some different size lines, here we have the Ghostbusters Plasma series, Indiana Jones from Raiders of the Lost Ark, the Power Rangers SPD Green Ranger, the G.I. Joe classified series Storm Shadow, and then repping Marvel Legends, we have MCU and comic versions of Steve Rogers, who's always on the nice list. Of course, according to Marvel, Santa's the world's most powerful mutant, so here he is with Wolverine. Moving over to Mattel, though, and for a wrestling figure, here we have the Hollywood elite John Cena. And then from Jurassic World, here we have Chris Pratt, who I'm sure will get around to playing Santa eventually. And then He-Man, who actually did play Santa in the He-Man and She-Ra Holiday Special. 
Oh, and Mattel, if you make a proper Santa He-Man, I will buy it in a heartbeat. For a NECA figure, and here's Freddy Krueger, who is always dressed for Christmas. You're not the only one that sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> and then for a cloth goods example, here's the Mezco 112 Collective Superman, who scales perfectly with the Santa. For an import example, and here's the Mafex Hush Batman. As long as we're talking about DC characters, though, I thought it would be fun to bring out the Frost King Build-A-Figure. Even though these have all been pretty much just relative scale comparisons. For a relative scale comparison, here's Santa with Pizza Spidey and the Spectacular Spider-Man. And as always, here he is with Stealth Iron Man. And what would you like for Christmas, young boy? <sighs> It goes without saying that my mind is absolutely boggled by all the goodies that this guy comes with. I'm pretty sure a quarter of this video has just been me going over all the accessories. For playability, this Father Christmas gets one and a half points. This leaves us with nothing left to discuss but the price. For the price of 3DC Multiverse, we get a treasure trove of accessories and a beautiful soft goods wired costume. This is made possible by the reuse and the fact that Father Christmas exists in the public domain. For those who are interested, there's also a green and brown version, which is also very classic looking. Whichever look you prefer, the Four Horsemen has created the definitive Father Christmas. And if you like what you see, definitely get him before he disappears again. For price, I'm giving Father Christmas one whole point for a grand total of six out of five. From the studio that brought you the Grinch and Super Mario Brothers, Chris Pratt is Santa. Ho, 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 I'm Santa. Coming sooner or later. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. For more festive videos, check out one of these. Thank you so much for watching. Like Frosty the Snowman, I'll be back again someday. Until then, play nice, have fun, and be merry.